Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely, and if you don't know, I help moms lose weight after having a baby, specifically new moms. In today's video, we're going to be doing a standing ab workout. What does that mean? All that means is you don't need any equipment. You just need your body, your feet, your elbows, maybe your knees, but that's it. There's no excuse not to get a quick workout in while the baby's taking a nap, or even while the baby's awake. I used to work out with my son a lot while he was awake. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe below, like this video, and comment and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start our warm up with some hip swivels. You're gonna start with your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders, hands on your hips. You're gonna push your hips back and roll them around. We're only gonna go in one direction for 30 seconds and then we're gonna switch for another 30 seconds. Really pushing those hips back as you go around. Get loose with it, bend those knees, get silly. Excellent job. Again, feet are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Really swivel around. Next, we have hamstring pulls. You're gonna start on your right foot, catching your balance, and you're gonna bring that left knee up towards your chest, switching legs, grabbing that knee, pulling it up towards your chest, keeping your balance the whole time. We're gonna work on that balance in the warm up because we're gonna need it later for the workout. Again, starting on your right foot, grabbing your left knee, bring it all the way up to your chest or as high as you can while keeping your balance. It helps to focus on one area on the wall, or you can alternate and just grab with one hand if that helps. Next, we have quad pulls. You're gonna stand again on your right foot, grabbing your left foot this time and reaching up for balance, making sure to pull that calf all the way towards your hamstring and feeling that stretch in your quad again starting on your right foot bringing that left foot up and back lifting your arm for balance make sure you're breathing don't hold your breath Excellent job. Next we have Frankensteins. You're gonna bring your right foot to your left hand, alternating sides. Again, we're still using that balance as we reach over and touch our feet. Bring your leg as high as you possibly can. You may not be able to touch your feet yet, and that's okay, keep going. Again, bringing that right foot all the way up, tapping it with your left hand. Excellent, good job. All right, we're gonna dive into the workout now. The first exercise is an elbow to knee twist. Start with your hands behind your head, reaching your elbow towards your knee while twisting your torso. You are not pulling your head, hands are open and flat. You are not pushing your neck. You are bringing your knee up as high as you can, twisting so that your elbow touches your knee. Again, 
trying not to pull your head, focus on touching that knee, working the obliques and lower abs. Excellent job. Next up, we have a power knee drive. We're gonna start with our hands above our head. We're gonna start in a staggered position and driving that knee between your elbows. You're balancing on the foot that is planted on the ground. As you drive that knee up, you are working your core to bring your knee up. Again, stepping back and sort of a lunge position, bringing that knee up towards your hands, keeping your hands above your head and working those shoulders inadvertently, you're gonna start to feel the burn in your shoulders. All right, next up we have a fun one called Donkey Kong. We're gonna start with our feet a little bit wider than our shoulders, hands above our head. We're gonna drive our hands down and alternate, bringing that knee up. Excellent. I like to call it Donkey Kong just cause I feel like I look like Donkey Kong when I do it. Starting with your hands above your head, driving them down and bringing those knees up, really feeling it in your core as you bring your knee up. Excellent job. All right, now we're gonna dive into elbow to knee on the side this time. Again, placing your hands behind your head, bringing that knee up and touching it with your elbow. We are not alternating in this one. We're gonna do one side at a time. I'm alternating in the demo just so that you can get a feel for the move, but we are going to be right here, really feeling the burn in your oblique. Excellent, excellent job bringing that knee up. Try not to pull your head down. Focus more on bringing your knee up as high as you can. job bringing that knee up to your elbow leaning over feeling that crunch in your oblique awesome job next up we have squat to kick we're gonna stand with our feet a little bit wider than our shoulders as we come down, dropping into that squat. As you come up, you're going to lift your left leg up, keeping your balance and kicking out. I know this, is, this looks like a traditional leg workout, but you're actually working your core as you lift your leg up into the air and kick out. Again, coming down, kicking out. We're doing one side at a time, really working your glutes, working your core, working on your balance. Excellent job.
And our final move for this round is going to be hip openers. We're gonna start with our feet a little bit wider than your shoulders, bringing your knee up, over, and out. You really wanna focus on your balance. This is not a rushed move. We are working our core. Slowly balancing on the foot that is not moving, swinging that hip out, really opening the hip up as we swing that leg out. Sometimes we feel a little bit extra pain in our back because our hips are tight. So we really wanna focus on strengthening our core and opening up and loosening those tight hips. Excellent. Excellent job today. I wanna to thank you for showing up for yourself. We are now at the cool down phase of the workout. So grab some water and let's get started. Swivels. You're going to start with your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders, hands on your hips. You're going to push your hips back and roll them around. We're only going to go in one direction for 30 seconds and then we're going to switch for another 30 seconds. Really pushing those hips back as you go around. Get loose with it. Bend those knees. Get silly. Excellent job. Again, feet are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Next, we're gonna flow into a shoulder stretch. You're gonna start with your right arm across your body, wrapping your left arm over it, and kind of working your shoulders. I know this was an ab workout, but your shoulders actually got a good workout on the majority of the moves. Really wanna make sure those shoulders are open. And excellent job. Make sure you switch sides. Don't forget to work each side. Moving that shoulder up and down to really open it up. And our final move for the cool down is gonna be a tricep stretch. You're gonna start with your right arm in the air, taking it back across, touching that left shoulder and pushing back with your left arm, really feeling the stretch again in that shoulder, but mostly in your tricep. I know this was an ab workout, but you did work your arms today. Excellent, make sure you're breathing. And we're gonna switch sides, grabbing that left arm with your right hand, pushing that arm back, really feeling the stretch in your tricep and shoulder. Excellent, excellent job. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe below, like this video, and comment and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this.